One of the most talked about personalities in the world is the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, who is also frequently referred to as MBS. He has been in the news not only for his contentious policies and grandiose Vision 2030 plan, but also for his opulent lifestyle, which has garnered a lot of attention. Here is a glimpse inside the extravagant lifestyle of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, which includes yachts worth multiple millions of dollars, private jets and mansions that are considered to be of the highest luxury. Today we will talk about inside the rich lifestyle of the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, an extravagant portfolio of real estate investments. It is his real estate holdings that stands out as one of the most conspicuous characteristics of his extravagant lifestyle. It is well known that the Crown Prince owns a number of luxury properties all over the world, one of which is a chateau in France that he purchased in 2015 for the price of the equivalent of $300 million. A movie theater, an indoor swimming pool, and a ballroom are some of the amenities that can be found in the 57-room palace that is situated in the little town of Lubishins. Additionally, in 2017, MBS acquired a Leonardo da Vinci painting titled Salvator Mundi, which is said to be worth $450 million. It is rumored that he intends to exhibit the picture at the Louvre Abu Dhabi. It is also said that he is the owner of a yacht named Serene, which is valued at $500 million and was purchased from the Russian vodka mogul Yuri Scheffler in the year 2015. In addition to these assets, it is said that he also owns a number of luxury residences in New York City. Among these apartments is a penthouse located at 432 Park Avenue, which is one of the tallest residential structures in the world. In addition to the United States and Europe, his opulent real estate portfolio also includes other countries abroad. In Saudi Arabia, he has been in charge of supervising the creation of a brand new city known as Neom. This city is being advertised as a futuristic hub for tourism, research and development, and technological advancement. The grandiose project, which is anticipated to cost $500 billion, has the goal of attracting foreign investment and creating jobs for Saudi people both in the country and abroad. In 2019, it was revealed that he had used public monies from the Saudi Arabian Ministry of Finance to purchase a house in France that was valued at $300 million. It has been suggested that the acquisition was conducted without the approval of the Saudi Arabian Council of Ministers, which raises doubts regarding the transparency and accountability of the Crown Prince's financial operations. In addition, the luxurious lifestyle that he leads has been called into question in light of the economic difficulties that many Saudis are experiencing. Despite the fact that the Crown Prince has initiated a number of economic and social reforms with the intention of diversifying the Saudi economy and decreasing the country's dependency on oil, there are concerns that his extravagant spending could undermine these efforts and make inequality even worse. Private Jets and Luxury Automobiles Known for his opulent collection of high-end automobiles and private jets, Mohammed bin Salman is a highly regarded individual. Because he is a member of the Saudi royal family, he has access to some of the most luxurious automobiles and aircraft in the world, and he is not hesitant to flaunt them. He is known to own a number of high-end automobiles, one of which being a Bugatti Chiron, which is considered to be one of the most costly and quickest production cars in the world. A high speed of 261 miles per hour is possible for the Bugatti Chiron, which can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds. It is expected that the car will cost approximately $3 million. A Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Lamborghini Aventador, and a McLaren P1 are among the automobiles that are rumored to be acquired by him in addition to the Bugatti Chiron. In addition to having the capacity to travel at speeds of up to 217 miles per hour, the Lamborghini Aventador is a sports car that has two seats. The automobile is renowned for its one-of-a-kind design, which includes its recognizable scissor doors, and it is expected to cost approximately $400,000 at the moment. The McLaren P1 is a hybrid sports car that generates 903 horsepower through the combination of a 3.8-liter V8 engine and an electric motor. It takes the vehicle only 2.8 seconds to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour, and it is capable of reaching speeds of up to 217 miles per hour. A price tag of approximately $1.5 million is anticipated for the McLaren P1. One of the most luxurious sedans in the world, the Rolls-Royce Phantom is renowned for its luxurious appearance and its pleasant ride. Heads of state and other high-ranking people are known to frequently use the automobile, 
and it is reported that it costs approximately $500,000 to purchase. Additionally, he is well known for the private jets that he hath collected. It was stated that he completed the acquisition of a customized Airbus A380 in the year 2018, which is the largest passenger jet in the world. MBS is reported to own a Boeing 747, which is frequently utilized as a backup plane in addition to the Airbus A380, which is also known to be in their possession. A unique hump on the top of the fuselage is one of the most recognizable features of the Boeing 747, which is widely considered to be one of the most iconic airplanes in the world. According to estimates, the jet cost approximately $150 million. The Prince's Lavish Spending Habits He has become a conspicuous figure not only for his political decisions but also for his extravagant and lavish spending habits. One notable instance that has caught the public's attention is his acquisition of a $450 million yacht in 2018. Previously owned by Russian billionaire Yuri Scheffler, boasts luxurious amenities such as a helicopter landing pad, a swimming pool, and a movie theater. Interestingly, reports suggest that this extravagant vessel was originally designed for the late Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, adding an extra layer of opulence to its history. His affinity for a lavish lifestyle extends beyond his maritime pursuits. His travel preferences include private aircraft, reinforcing an image of opulence and excess. Such extravagant choices, coupled with reports of his sizable spending on personal indulgences, have prompted scrutiny from various quarters. The Prince's penchant for luxury timepieces, in particular, has raised eyebrows. His collection, valued at millions of dollars, features standout pieces like the paddock fill of Cranmaster Chime, a horological marvel known for its complexity and a price tag exceeding $31 million. While his spending habits might be seen as a personal matter, they have not escaped the scrutiny of those questioning the source of his wealth and the fairness of the economic policies he has implemented. Critics argue that the vast fortune required for such indulgences should be transparently accounted for, especially considering the historical economic disparities within Saudi Arabia. The nation has long grappled with significant income inequality, and his opulent lifestyle, reminiscent of other members of the Saudi royal family, raises concerns about the sincerity of his commitment to addressing these social and economic issues. Despite being an advocate for social and economic reforms in recent years, his extravagant spending choices have the potential to undermine his credibility. The apparent dissonance between his calls for change and his personal lifestyle choices has led to skepticism about the authenticity of his commitment to addressing the economic disparities within Saudi Arabia. The juxtaposition of a lavish lifestyle against a backdrop of pressing economic concerns has ignited debates about the fairness of the prince's leadership and the legitimacy of his proposed reforms. Mohammed bin Salman's extravagant spending habits, ranging from multi-million dollar yachts to luxury timepieces, have not only attracted public attention but have also fueled debates about the origin of his wealth and the sincerity of his commitment to economic reforms. As Saudi Arabia grapples with persistent income disparities, the prince's opulent lifestyle raises questions about the consistency of his leadership and the extent to which he is willing to address the economic challenges facing the nation. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.